Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Coleman Lantern LT274BH. This is a great travel trailer because it gives you a dinette and a sofa and you don't have to worry about any slides. I know a lot of people love slides for the extra space, but without having them, you get full access to everything in the travel trailer including your refrigerator and bathroom, plus you can fit in some tighter campsites. Let's start off on the campsite. One of the things you'll notice is you have a campsite dinette and I love when manufacturers do this because this is where I wanna have my breakfast, my morning coffee. I wanna be able to look out to my campsite not be staring out at the neighbors. Also, this does drop down into a bed. So if you need some additional sleeping space, it's not a huge bed, but if you wanna curl up into a fetal position or if you have another child that wants to sleep here, it will certainly accommodate that. Or if you have a pack and play, if you're a really small kid, you can drop this down, put the pack and play right up here. That way they're off the ground, but out of the way so you can still walk through the entire camper. Right up top, you will notice some excellent storage. Have, of course, LED light here to help brighten up the table. You have LED lights throughout the whole camper. Cubby hole there, multimedia center, that is Bluetooth capable. And you will also notice you have a place to mount a TV if you want one. Connections for that are right up top. Now here on the wall is a thermostat. This will control your ducted heat. There is an AC unit. It's a roof mounted AC unit, but the controls on, uh, for that are on the unit itself. Right here in the back corner are your double over double bunks. 300 pound weight capacity on here. LED lights, you also have a window in both top and bottom bunks plus USB ports. And folks, I am six foot tall and as you can see, I can actually lay down here. So if you have adults that wanna sleep in here, it can accommodate them. If they're taller than six foot, again, they'll probably have to curl up a little bit, but any shorter, they can fully extend. Right in the very back, next to the bunks is the bathroom. I'll take a seat here. Uh, this, this bathroom setup is a little tight for me. You know, my, my legs are, or my knees are okay, but my feet are kind of uh, crushed up against it. You kind of have to pull the feet back. Plenty of shoulder space. I can definitely make this work, but if you are taller, you know, if you're 6'2", or if you have really long legs, this may be a little bit tougher for you. Right over to the side, you will see storage underneath the sink. Plenty of room there for trash can, maybe or not trash can, I'm sorry, some uh, toilet paper, maybe a spray or two or some uh, black tank chemicals. Great spot for it. And I like the fact they did extend the countertop over so you have a little bit of countertop space here in the bathroom. Electrical outlet so you can plug in your, you know, flat iron, curling iron, hair dryer, whatever else. You will see the uh, robe hook right up on the wall. And in the very back here is the bath or the uh, tub shower rather. So I, again, I'm six foot. As you can see, I can fully stand in here. Great thing about a tub is if you have kiddos, which you know, if you have a bunk model, chances are you probably, it's probably why you're getting it. If they're smaller, you can still give them a bath. And because it's a tub, it has a higher threshold and a higher wall here. So that you, that way your curtain has a better shot of staying in there, not flopping all over, getting water all over your bathroom. Like a lot of times will happen if you have a curtain in a shower. Norcold fridge freezer unit to start off the kitchen. We'll take a look in there. You can see plenty of space. Right over to this side is the rest of our kitchen, recessed cooktop with the glass cover on here. You can fold this up and back just like so, giving you access to those burners. The knobs right up front do light up like so, and underneath is an oven if you want to do some baking. You'll also see for the newer 2020 models that they have the new wall board right in the back, it's a beautiful backsplash, electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything else in, whether it's a coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever. Large single basin sink with the high rise faucets, that way it's nice and easy to do dishes. And if you drop down underneath, you'll see the smaller drawer right up top because obviously you have to contend with the sink. But right down below, you'll see two larger full extension drawers giving you plenty of space for all of your flatware. A little bit more storage underneath the oven, not huge, but maybe able to sneak, you know, like a, a pan in there or something, and a little bit more over on the other side. Plus additional storage up top, the microwave, and the Furion hood with both a light and a fan. Now, one of the reasons that people really love this floor plan is because of this right here. Again, we don't have any slides in this unit, and this floor plan allows you to have the campsite dinette plus a sofa. And if you notice, if you, remember, if you remember rather where the TV was, this will be the best spot to sit if you wanna watch TV. Also, this is a jackknife sofa, which means it drops down into a bed. More importantly though, you have all this additional storage, which in any camper, the more storage you can have, the better. Then as we look at the bedroom itself, you'll see that this one does have the RV queen. Now, 
The nice thing about this, I do want to show you folks, even though it's an RV queen at six foot tall, as you can see, I can put a pillow here and my feet, ah, they're, they're actually at the very end. They're not quite hanging off, which is nice. I've been on some, they're a little bit shorter and my feet are hanging off. This one is kind of right on that borderline. So even though it is an RV queen, it's still uh, very sleepable. Plus they gave you all this extra space to walk around. So that way you can actually get to this side of the bed. On both sides, you will see that you have a nightstand there with a cubby hole underneath. USB ports plus electrical outlets. So you have a place to charge your phones or plug in a CPAP machine. Right up top is mirrored wardrobe space with your hanging rod. Shelf going across the top plus this new kind of designer wall board on the back. Kind of has that shiplap look. And lastly, if you want a TV in the bedroom, there is hookup for it right up top there. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Coleman Lantern 274BH. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Plus you have a little light right up front for added visibility at night and a manual override in the rare event it does fail. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks plus rails here for your battery. And coming up the front is diamond dutch plating helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right around to the side is solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it'll trickle charge your battery. As we look in the pass through, you'll see how big of an opening it is. That way, if you have grills or larger executive chairs, you can actually fit them in there. And it's the same size door on the other side. Power stabilizer jacks on this unit. So all I have to do is flip the button to drop those stabilizer jacks. Once those are down, it'll help prevent the coach from rocking around as you're moving around inside. Just bear in mind, don't try to use those to level folks. You will end up breaking them. You will see the power awning on here. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. Plus an LED light strip and two speakers right underneath. So if you want to listen to music out here, you can. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside. But as I mentioned, it is Bluetooth capable. You will also see the LCI solid step system, which just like the name implies, it is a solid step. It doesn't have that springboard effect when you're walking up and down it. Also has aluminum treads, which aren't going to rust, plus some grip tape. So if it's wet, you have a little better traction and you have a smaller grab handle for a little extra control as you are entering the RV. You'll see electrical outlet right there in the center. So if you need to plug anything in, that will be the place to do it. And in the back, underneath that back bunk, look at that, you get even more storage, which is wonderful. So not only do you have the storage up front, but also right back here. And around to the very back, the square tubular bumper does have end caps, which is a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. You can see the two power stabilizer jacks down there. Right up top in the center is backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having that prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Cable inlet right in the back corner. Termination down below with both your black and gray tank valves there. 30 amp power cord is tucked away there. A Little bit further up is your fresh water inlet. And folks, one of the great things about this, the Coleman Lantern series has one of the biggest fresh tanks in, the, uh, in its class. So if you're looking to do some boondocking, you have a 60 gallon fresh tank on there, which is pretty impressive. And if you're going to a campsite where you have full hookup or at least water hookup, you wanna hook up to your city water inlet and that will be located right there. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Coleman Lantern LT 274BH. If you're interested in this gorgeous bunk model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.